The U.S. says it is not evacuating its embassy in Baghdad, but it will send more troops to protect the building. The move comes after dozens of Iraqi Shiite militia and their supporters broke into part of the compound today. The breach was fueled by anger over deadly U.S. airstrikes that targeted the Iran-backed fighters on Sunday. Redmond Shannon reports. The normally secure U.S. Embassy inside Baghdad's fortified Green Zone. Under attack after Iraqi forces allowed protesters to approach the building. U.S. troops fired tear gas to disperse crowds. But part of the outer compound was breached. Dozens of men reportedly rushed inside one entrance before being pushed back. The violence followed the funerals of 25 Iraqi militia members killed by U.S. airstrikes against Khatib Hezbollah. It is formerly part of Iraq's security forces but is backed by Iran. The U.S. says the group is behind attacks on bases that host U.S. troops. One attack killed an American contractor on Friday. Washington considers Khatib Hezbollah a terror group, even though both fight against the so-called Islamic State. The leader of another militia said the U.S. embassy represents a place of sabotage against Iraqi sovereignty. That echoed the words of Iraq's prime minister. He's dealing with the fallout from separate anti-government protests that left hundreds dead this fall. U.S. President Donald Trump blamed Iran for Tuesday's attack, saying they will be held fully responsible. Iranian influence is clearly behind a lot of militia activity in Iraq. That's a very well-established uh, fact. But there are also an awful lot of Iraqis who deeply resent the American presence in Iraq still for, for reasons I think we could well understand. The ambassador was out of Iraq for Christmas but is now heading back and the U.S. is beefing up security with 100 Marines being deployed to the compound. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.